After being put through the ringer quite a few times and the owner's husband dying inside the car, the Civic could easily be headed for the junkyard. But not if I have something to say about it first. Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Now, today I've got an incredibly beat up 2009 Honda Civic and after seeing the inside of this car, I was left shaking my head. This thing is going to get the makeover of a lifetime today, so stay tuned. Okay guys, well getting to work on this Civic today and obviously the exterior isn't all that dirty, so I'll be able to move through this step pretty quick, but that interior is clearly going to take some time. I really don't know what happened in there to get it so grimy. I've done quite a few vehicles like this in the past, so I already know it's going to be quite a challenge. working my way around the Civic and I wanted to give you guys a heads up that I might have made a really terrible decision. I'm going to let Mike provide commentary on the next quick fix video. He's been asking me for months now and I finally gave in. So I guess make sure you tune in this coming Tuesday, May 30th to see what crazy things he's got to say. I'm sure it's going to be terrible. Now one more thing I wanted to mention before getting this car washed and that's the crazy backstory it comes with. I guess it was recently purchased from over in British Columbia by someone local and they told me they bought it off an old lady who was selling it as it reminded her too much of her late husband. Now I guess he unfortunately had a heart attack and passed away in the car so I can totally understand needing to sell the vehicle so you aren't constantly reminded of it. But anyways the vehicle was obviously brought to me to get it looking brand new again and give it a new lease on life. which. Hopefully there's still some left in this car as it's got nearly 300,000 kilometers on it or about 186,000 miles. Alright, well while I get the car washed here, I figured there was no better way to show you guys that yes, I do in fact clean and detail the roofs of every vehicle I do. I still see comments on nearly every video asking this, so here's the proof, along with all the reveal shots where you can see the tops of the vehicles too.
Okay, well, it's time to get to work on the interior now, and that's obviously going to start with the floor mats, which I'll admit paint a very interesting picture of the previous owners of this car. But while I'm at it, I'm also removing the trunk liner as well, and I really wasn't expecting to find a pile of rat turds and sunflower seeds in here. But anyways, I'll have more on that later. For now, I'll use my carpet solution and green drill brush to get all the floor mats and trunk liner looking new again. Okay, with the pressure washing done now, I'll quickly get the front seats removed, and I'm also going to remove the rear one as well, and honestly it's a good thing I did, because the mice had clearly been having some fun back there trying to make a nest. Alright guys, well I have got the seats removed now, and it's time to get to work on the interior which quite frankly is a bit of a disgusting mess. Uh, and you also notice I've got my respirator here today. Um, gonna be wearing that for the rest of the work on the interior. Uh, basically just because there's mouse turds all around the car and it really just does not smell very good. So um, I'm gonna get to work uh, removing all the garbage first and then I'll grab the vacuum. Moving to the section underneath the passenger seat, and there's a whole bunch more mouse turds here too, so I have to think that this vehicle might have sat for a while before it got sold, and to be honest, I don't think the new owner knew the extent of how bad it was in here, but I suppose when you buy a vehicle pretty cheap like he did, you do run the risk of that happening.
All right, well, moving up to underneath the back seat, and the mice sure had some fun tearing up the foam of the seat cushion here. So I'll grab what I can with my hand and then get the rest sucked up with the vacuum. Alright, turning my attention to the seats now and I'll of course be using my carpet cleaner to work some magic on these old stained seats and carpet today. And like you've seen countless times before, the combo of this and my drill brushes really just can't be beat. The carpet cleaner is formulated with very powerful cleaning agents and can easily tackle any sort of spill or stain in your vehicle. So if you enjoy cleaning your own vehicle, then I definitely recommend having a bottle on hand. You can find it over on my website at detailgeekautocare.com where you'll also find it available in gallon sizes and as a ready to use version too. Moving to the passenger side of the back seat where there was a pretty nasty stain and I wanted to quickly let you know that in addition to Mike's commentary on the upcoming quick fix video on Tuesday, I also gave him an entire video all to himself. That's right, I put together sort of a best of Mike video that'll be out next Saturday, June 3rd over on the second channel. So if you want to relive some of Mike's best cameo appearances, then be sure to check that one out.
Here's the entire bucket of absolutely disgusting and super smelly water pulled from the Civic today. Gross. Starting on the interior trim, which is pretty nasty all around the Civic, and I'll of course be using my Detail Geek all-purpose cleaner diluted 4 to 1, which is heavy strength, and I think it's pretty clear why I'm doing that. Most of the door panels were caked in filth, and then the gear shifter you'll see in a minute was even worse, but the Steeman APC will make quick work of it as always. Moving to the gear shifter now, and I don't think I've ever seen one with more grime on it. I really don't even understand how a person does this. It had basically been turned completely brown from dirty hands over years of abuse, so it's super satisfying seeing all that brown sludge melt right off. Starting in the trim pieces I removed earlier, and I can't give all the credit to my all-purpose cleaner for transforming this car. The steamer is a key factor in that too. I've been using this McCulloch MC1375 unit for nearly 4 years now, and it's still going strong after working on some of the dirtiest and nastiest cars imaginable, so if that's not enough to convince you to buy one to clean your own vehicle, or even your house, then I can also tell you they're just super fun to use. The link is down in the description for you guys, so feel free to give it a look. Okay, well to breathe some life back into this paint, I'm using my ceramic spray coating which will boost the depth and gloss and really make it shine, but the best thing about it is how easy it is to apply. Just wipe it on, let it flash, and then wipe it off, and you're left with a beautiful and reflective finish.
All right, guys, well, 11 hours later and the Civic has been brought back from the dead. It is looking truly incredible now. I have to admit, though, when I saw it in the beginning, I had my doubts on how it was going to turn out. But boy, does it ever look good. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure you smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to give me a follow over on my other social media, too. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.